Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the Astero oils and fragrances that I've got in my collection. Um, I did want to do like an Astero oil slash perfume overview because she is back in town and will be fulfilling orders for a little while. I'm not totally sure when um, she will be leaving again, but I do know she will be leaving again. Um, at some point in like the near future. So there's a little window where you guys can order if you're interested. So I thought I would give you an, a good overview of all of the fragrances so that if you are interested, um, you can go ahead and order while she's here. Um, I do believe that she makes all of these fragrances in a spray form as well, uh, which I am super excited about because I will definitely be ordering a bottle of spray perfume. I think I'm gonna get it in either the Bakery or Swallow Me. I haven't like smelled them to figure out which one I want yet. Anyways, so I when I looked on her website, I thought, I thought that you could only get the spray perfume in Smells Like Estero, but it looks like you can get any scent in spray form. Yeah, so I'm super excited. But anyways, I'm gonna go through all of these scents with you to let you know kind of how they smell, and I'm gonna jump right in. Um, so the first one that I have, this is called Bang Estero. This is one of the, I think this is the newest fragrance. Um, this is, this is on her website. She says this is what she wears almost every day. Um, this is a this is a combination of smells like bang and smells like Estero. Um, smells like bang. We'll talk about it in a minute. It's kind of um, like a really beautiful, light, sweet kind of cotton candy smelling scent. And then smells like Estero is an amazing, sweet kind of. Uh, white musk, like clean musk scent. Um, really gorgeous, kind of like an Egyptian musk. And this is a combination of the two and it is fantastic. So it's like that beautiful sweet musk, but with the sweetness of like a light cotton candy. It's phenomenal, it's so good. This one you can see I've used the least amount because I haven't had this one for a super long time but I absolutely adore it. It is delicious, it smells phenomenal, and I'm gonna love this in the fall because I love sweet cotton candy smelling fragrances, especially around Halloween time. It's just, it's my favorite. So anyways, that is the first one that is called Bang Estero. Okay, this one, she said that she doesn't know for sure if, if she will have this one in stock. I think, I haven't checked, but she, last time I talked to her, she said she had this one marked out of stock at the moment, um, but I still wanted to tell you about it with the chance that she might get it back in stock. Um, this is called Heaven Scent, and oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is a really thick, like it's a really thick, rich oil, but it's got a really beautiful light, kind of almost uh, like a musty, citrus, clean, like very skin like this is like a this is definitely a your skin but better it's gorgeous this is for those days that you really don't want to you know you don't want to be loud you don't want to smell like a ton of perfume this would be great for like healthcare workers or people that really aren't supposed to wear perfume because it's so it's like such an intimate fragrance and it's so skin like but it creates this beautiful cloud not cloud, that's not the right word. It does wear close, but you will smell it and people will smell it. But it's a very in a, in, like inoffensive fragrance. I don't, this one's hard for me to explain. It's gorgeous though. Just like every other oil. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible fragrance. And again, it would be great for people that, you know, you want to be very, like maybe you're not supposed to wear fragrance or you really just don't want to wear a loud fragrance. When you go out in public, you just like to keep it, you know, close. This is a perfect fragrance for that. Um, I love this one. So that is Heaven Scent. Okay, next, this is another new one to my collection. This one is called That Girl. And this is delicious. This one I think is like mango and coconut maybe. I think it is, I think it's like a mango coconut. This one is really, really strong. It's like, it's a gorgeous, fruity, hot weather, summertime, sweet, decadent, 
just yummy smelling fragrance. This is a newer one again to my collection and I just, I absolutely adore it. It's beautiful. Um, this is for those of you that love your summertime fragrances, but you're like me where you like something a little bit, um, like with a little bit more body to it. You're not really into like clean girl scents. Um, this is, ugh, you want something more sultry smelling and sweet and yummy and like decadent smelling. That's what this is. It's gorgeous. I've never smelled anything else like this either. It's to me, this is really, really unique and beautiful. All of these oils really um, are quite unique and just really beautiful. So that one is called That Girl. Okay, next we've got just the original, beautiful Smells Like a Stero. Um, this is, you can see, I use this. And for me, this is a lot because you guys know I have hundreds of fragrances in my collection, but I reach for Smells Like a Stero a lot. This, well, all of her oils actually live out. Um, all of my other oils I have in a box, but these actually stay out on my hutch all of the time because I reach for them a lot. Um, and I've been through a lot of my Smells Like a Stero. Um, I love it. It's the most beautiful, warm, slightly sweet, very clean musk. It's one of my favorite musk, musk perfumes in my collection. This is the perfume that put me on my like musk obsession path and I adore it. It just smells amazing. And it's one of my favorite fragrances to wear when I just don't feel like wearing a perfume that day or I just want to know that I'm gonna smell amazing. Like if I'm, you know, gonna be going out in public or, you know, a place because I can wear perfumes that maybe other people wouldn't enjoy, but I know that people are gonna enjoy this. So I wear this one out a lot. But anyways, that is Smells Like Estero. It's the OG, it's amazing. We've also got Smells Like Bang. This is the other OG. This is the one that I was saying is, um, oh, it's so good. This is, like warm, lightly sweet, no, warm, sweet, kind of like a light cotton candy. There's something, I almost get a little bit of citrus in this one too, like something really light, but this smells delicious, like a delicious treat. Almost like a light cakey kind of fragrance, but it's not as dense as like a cakey fragrance would smell. It's like a little bit gourmand, but it's still clean. It's just beautiful. I love it. It's such a good one. And then this is another one. I don't have quite a, quite the same size dent as I do in my Smells Like a Stero, but, but for me, that is still a pretty good size dent for, um, you know, for as many fragrances as I have in my collection and for as many oils as I have. It's a it's a really good size dent. I love this one. There's something about it that reminds me or that's kind of nostalgic that I absolutely adore. Something, it reminds me of something maybe from my childhood that I can't quite put my finger on. It's, oh, it's so good. So good. So that one is Smells Like Bang. Okay, next, this one I don't, I can't remember if this one is still available. I don't know if this one is still available, but this one is called Black Mermaid. And this one, oh my gosh. Not only do I absolutely adore this oil, but this thing is an absolute monster. It is nuclear. You only have to put a few dots on yourself and you're gonna smell like this all day long. This reminds me of, it's like an incensey floral kind of fragrance. It reminds me of like a spiritual shop, you know, shops that sell like spiritual books and crystals and tarot decks and incense and they've always got some amazing incense burning in there. It reminds me kind of of that, but it's a little bit more floral smelling than like a spiritual shop. It's gorgeous. It's like an incense-y floral. It's incredible. I need to pull this one out because this would be a perfect, like this, you could wear this any time of year and all of these oils can be worn any time of year. I mean, they're all just amazing. This one is going to be a perfect transition scent for me though. Um, it's so warm and it reminds me of my Seattle roots. It just smells like, um, I don't know. It reminds me of all of the like, kind of hippie shops and spiritual shops and stuff from, you know, the 90s in Seattle. I love it. It This one is definitely like, 
I don't know, somehow takes me back to my roots. But anyways, that one is called Black Mermaid. Okay, next we've got one of my absolute favorites because you guys know how much I love gourmands. This one is called Swallow Me. I absolutely adore this. This is delicious. This is like a buttery, and that is the biggest word, the best word I could use to describe this one is buttery. This is a sweet, buttery dessert. Kind of like something between a pudding and a cake. It is delicious. It's got a little bit of almost a milkiness to it too. It is fantastic. It's definitely a gourmand, but it is unlike any other gourmand I've got in my collection. It is phenomenal. This one also has quite a big dent in it for me. I use my Astero oils more than any other oils in my collection. Um, they are my absolute favorite. I also think that for the quality for the price, are, they're just amazing. I've got a discount code for you guys too, um, which if you didn't watch the short, telling you guys that she was back and, and fulfilling orders. I'll have the code in the description box down below for you though. It is a 10% off code, which is amazing, uh, especially for these already really, really well-priced oils. I mean, these oils are super affordable for the quality and for the amount of oil that you get. Um, they're, they're priced amazingly well. So anyways, that one is called Swallow Me, one of my absolute favorites. It's hard for me to pick favorites though um, because they're just all incredible. Okay, next I have, um, this is actually a perfume and she sent this when I placed my very first order. Um, this is, this one is called Heaven Boy and this is a combination of Heaven Scent and Indigo Boy and it is gorgeous. To me, this is like a slightly sweet, kind of very slightly earthy, light, really, really light patchouli. You still get that kind of really beautiful, musty citrus, um, that kind of your skin but better aspect of heaven scent. But then you get the really beautiful kind of earthiness of the Indigo Boy mixed. It is so good such a gorgeous scent. This would be an amazing unisex scent. I think that this would smell beautiful on anybody. I just adore it. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Such a stunning scent. So that one is called Heaven Boy. Ooh, and then I've got this one. This is another one of my newer ones. Um, this is Country Living, and this is, I pulled the rollerball out of this one because when I use this, I go hard with it. So I just like put it directly on my finger and just rub all over. Um, this is a thicker oil too, so sometimes with thicker oils, I will just pull the roller ball out. It's super easy. If you guys want me to do a little short, like showing you how to pull a roller ball out, because somebody asked me one time, um, because I had talked about before how sometimes I just take the roller balls out of my oils. Um, sometimes I just enjoy putting it on more with my finger because I can really warm it with on my skin um, better than I can do it with the roller ball. But anyways, and this is one of them. I this is a this is kind of a light, slightly green, really fresh, almost grassy floral. I absolutely adore this. To me, this is spring in a bottle. This almost smells a little bit like um, it almost has like a, a slight lily of the valley. Uh, scent to it like it's hard it's hard to explain it's really beautiful it's like light like a light lily of the valley kind of grassy spring spring like floral I really really love this one so um, yeah that one is called country living and I've said before um, like I've said so many times if I lost all of the perfumes in my collection but still had my estero oils I would be fine because there's something for everybody. Like there's everything that you need in the, in with all of the oils, there's like everything that you need. You've got a beautiful spring like floral. You've got a summery fruity coconut. You've got, um, earthy fragrances. You've got light fragrances. You've got, um, clean fragrances. Like 
you've got patchouli smelling fragrant like you've just got everything there's something for everybody and i could live with just my estero oils and i would be happy okay the next one this is another one that's got a big huge dent in it um this is the bakery this is my other uh, one of my other favorites oh i absolutely adore this this isn't quite as gourmand smelling as swallow me but it's still gourmand smelling but this is kind of a Oh my gosh, this is like a warm, kind of very slightly perfumey gourmand. This one warms on the skin beautifully. I wear this one to bed a lot, which is why it's got such a big dent in it because it's such a cozy, comforting, but delicious smelling, warm perfume. I absolutely love this one. I can't give you a description as well as I could with like Swallow Me because Swallow Me is so like buttery and this one, whatever it is, is just gorgeous and I can't really put my finger on what it is. I just know it's like a little bit gourmandy but a little bit perfumey. It's a little bit lighter than Swallow Me but it's still warm and cozy and delicious. I absolutely adore this one. So this one is called The Bakery. Okay, next we've got Indigo Boy. Um, this one, I've got a, a little dent in this one. I love this. I've got dents in all of them because I love my Estero oils. But, and I can't like, I cannot preach the gospel of Estero oils enough. <laughs> um, they're just so, so amazing. I know that so many of you out there have them though and love them. So I know a lot of you know how good they are. I just feel like they don't get enough love though. They don't get enough hype. Um, yeah, I feel like that they deserve to be talked about so much more than they are, which they could be. I, you know me, I don't like keep up with the fragrance community a ton, but um, I feel like I haven't heard a ton of people talk about them. And I think more people need to be talking about them because as far as oils go, they're some of the best. And you know me, I've smelled uh, thousands of oils. I've got hundreds in my collection and these are my favorites. Okay, Indigo Boy is like a beautiful, clean, but also warm, again, kind of very unisex smelling. It's not patchouli, but it's, I don't, I don't know if this is patchouli or not, but it doesn't smell like patchouli to me. It smells, it smells like a warm, resinous. It smells warm and resinous, but still clean and it still has a beautiful lightness to it. It's gorgeous. This is perfectly unisex. This would just smell incredible on a man. I mean, this would smell so freaking good on a man. I love wearing it though. Um, it doesn't lean masculine or feminine to me. This is just perfectly middle of the road. I'm just gorgeous. I love it. These are the kinds of fragrances that I just feel really comfortable in. It's almost a little bit ambery but without having any vanilla in it. Oh gosh, it's so good. It's so good. So that one is called Indigo Boy. And then last but not least, we have Superheroes. I just wore this one not long ago. Oh, I love this. Um, this is Rose. This is like the most beautiful, fresh, clean red rose. I absolutely love this. It's bright and crisp, but still really warm. If you could imagine like Jo Malone Red Roses, but in an oil that's even more cozy and not quite as strong. It's beautiful. If you love Rose, I think you would love this one. Um, I love it. Again, I just wore this not long ago um, and I loved it. The, all of these oils last forever. The longer they sit, the stronger they get too. So they do kind of macerate over time and get even more rich and deep smelling and stronger. And they just all perform incredibly well. I mean, you're gonna get eight, 10, 12 hours, sometimes even 24 hours out of some of these oils. They just, like I said, the quality for the price of these cannot be beat. They're just gorgeous. So anyways, that one is Superheroes. And that is it, guys. So those are all of my Estero oils. Um, I did wanna just do another overview video because uh, she is back. She is fulfilling orders as we speak. I do have a discount code for you. It is Sarah Nose, N-O-S-E, 
best. Yeah, Sarah knows best. And I will have that down in the description box for you below to get 10% off your order. Um, again, I do think you can get all of these in spray form as well. And yeah, I hope that you guys found this helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.